if you guys are old what that shit do i keep in mind that these messages are general so if it doesn't apply let it fly catch me on the next one and hopefully it sticks i y'all i know i've been gone listen i've been gone for a week I was on vacation so if y'all was probably like where the hell is sacred Satch, honey i was living my best life okay <laughs> i needed some time away i needed to reset um and that's exactly what i did so i'm glad to be back i missed y'all and i wanted to tap in to see what's going on in you guys' current energy quick little message all right so we have bad health okay Occupation came out. And we have mature woman. Okay, for some of you guys could be having some parents that are like about to retire or you're about to retire um, due to maybe um, health reasons or I feel like also too, yeah, unexpected income. Something, another door is, about, is gonna open, okay? Um, if you are thinking about leaving a job because it's, it's something with either your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health. It's something here that does not sit well with you in this place that you're at. Wherever you're collaborating with or whoever you're collaborating with, right? Um, now, with mature women here, I feel like this was a wise decision that you chose to make um, in regards to uh, leaving a certain job or a certain person that you put a lot of work in. Um but unexpectedly, okay, just know that something is going to come in for you, all right? Let's see what this is about. Mm. Let's see what this is about. Hmm. Some of you can sew, as I'm looking here, you do um, work with your hands, right? Um... Uh, you can have seniority at this place or with this person um, as far as being with them for a long time. But honestly, I get that feel of like, um, it's like overworking. Overworking in a certain, per you know, a, a, a place or a person. Um, the lovers wanted to come out. But, uh, it's affecting you. It's affecting you. Or it's affecting someone here. I'm getting a lot of messages with this. Um, it's causing somebody to be sick. As far as like uh, you. As far as like wanting to come in to work on something with you. Maybe if you, maybe if you, you've uh, grown. You've matured. Um, you are no longer the same person that you were. And this makes somebody like sick to their stomach, okay? Because they know that they're going to have to, with occupation here, they're going to have to put in the work, okay? Four of Cups. This could be somebody that you rejected in the past, okay? Um, or this could simply just be you rejecting um, things that no longer serve you, you know, that don't bring you emotional fulfillment here. It's like dissatisfaction. What else? What is this in regards to? Ooh. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Yeah. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody has some that somebody wants to come in with some type of um, fast communication. Okay. Um, but I feel like it will hurt this person's ego if you did reject them. This is why they could possibly be in this seven of pentacles. Like carefully evaluating on how to invest in this situation. Because, you know, you're the queen of cups. You're the person that this person may still be in love with. Okay? They're deeming you as the queen of cups because they know that you are very loving. You're very caring. You're very nurturing. You know? And to be emotionally balanced comes with being mature. You know? Um, learning how to not act off of your emotions when it comes to certain situations. Um, but also, too, with the Seven of Pentacles to the Queen of Cups, I get like, uh, when, it, when it comes to who or what you want to invest in emotionally, it's just um, you're carefully evaluating this. 
okay? What's this Four of Cups about? The Tower. Hmm. What is this Tower about? Some type of shakeup, some type of sudden change happened between you and this person as to why you may have rejected them or... or uh, it's like things could have got exposed within the workplace um, that caused some type of um, dissatisfaction. But with the seven of wands here, it's like whatever it is that got ex exposed here or um, whatever shakeup happened, right? Look at that. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You are very certain on how it is that you felt in order to put boundaries into place. And because you did that, it caused the tower moment. But just know that was supposed to happen, okay? So if you are in a workplace and you know, you just, you, you, you um, know that this workplace is causing a lot on your mental or just a lot of physical labor, um, this is, you could, you could be speaking up on a situation on um, why you're not why you're not feeling satisfied coming to this place or being with this person or whatever the case may be. For some of you, I do feel like it's work. For and, and then for the other half of you, I do feel like it's with a person, right? But you stood up for yourself. Okay. Hmm. If this is, um, yeah, five, yep. Ooh, we, yeah. Okay, five of pentacles, eight of cups. Now, the thing is, with if it is in regards to love, a person, right? Because we did see the, the lovers did want to pop out earlier. I feel like both of you guys still have a lot of love for each other, okay? But the thing is, I'm just hearing you could have been honest with me from the jump. Okay, like four cups. If you were not satisfied in this situation, you could have said you could have just said that. Because then a tower moment happened, right? This is constantly trying to build on something that it doesn't have the great the greatest foundation, right? With the seven of wands, still trying to protect the situation because you love this person, right? But with the dissatisfaction that someone felt here, they kind of felt left out in the cold by the very same person that they love, right? Up until the point to where you could have possibly had to walk away. Queen of Wands. And, that's, <laughs> and the thing is, that is what could... Um, that is what could be making this person sick here or feel that feeling of sick sickness because once whatever it is that got exposed here um I don't, I'm, I'm just getting a feeling of like uh it's like two people that love each other but then it's like um it's not being shown right somebody can just be a little uh dismissive here somebody giving somebody like this this cold shoulder when you walked away okay you walked away as the queen of wands you out here looking good you smelling good you're getting a lot of attention you're going towards your dreams your goals it's like this person did not stop whatever it is that you had going on right because again you're still working occupation mature woman it's like listen i'm not about to sit here and argue with you and go back and forth and have conflict with you i'm going to direct this towards all this this hurt or this anger or this person the, or the feeling of this person like brushing you off you started to put that into your work okay so just as much as you were trying to protect this situation Hold on to it. <laughs> My niece, y'all. As much as you were trying to protect this foundation, 
that ultimately you kind of feel like it blew up in your face, right? As much as you try to defend this person and protect the relationship or the situation, you know, you kind of feel like this person didn't really have your back in the same breath, right? With the five of pentacles, they kind of made you feel like you were kind of left out hanging. And that was enough for you to walk away. All right. But it's it's conflict. Like this person knows that there's drama or this, this there's a disagreement um between you and them. Okay? Because it got them in the nine of wands. It's like, I don't I don't know what you did. I'm I don't know why I'm hearing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing Jasmine Sullivan. I bust the windows out your car. Who busted who window out? Y'all are crazy. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? It's like, I don't know if this uh, King of Cups is upset at the fact that you stood your ground on something that got exposed with them as to why you don't really want their, their offer of love here. And they're feeling like they're in the Five of Pentacles. They, like they took a loss here. But you walked away. No matter how much you invested with this person emotionally, it was like, gotta go. You stood in your confidence with the Queen of Wands. Ooh. But it's definitely making this person feel some type of way at the fact that, like, leaving them is not stopping whatever else it is that you got going on in your life or whatever else it is that you're working on. Okay? What's the, what's the Seven of Pentacles? Damn. Page of Swords, okay? Y'all could be talking to somebody new. Ace of Cups, Page of Swords. Hmm, maybe you work with this person. Doesn't have to be. But you're considering investing in it. Ace of Cups is like, you feel a lot of love here, you know? Or for some of you, this can be this past person that you walked away from wanting to bring a new sense of love into the situation. They could could have reached out to you, sent you a text like, hey, let's do it. Let's try this again. You know, I want to make it work. But it has seven of pentacles. Like you're considering investing in the situation. Yeah, look at that. Two of swords because you're in two frames of mind. Okay. This could be a past person and a new person as to why you're in the two of swords. All right. But with the Ace of Cups here, I do feel like it's a new person. And we also have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, okay? Yeah, five, <laughs> five of Swords, three of Pentacles, okay? Because you're collaborating. Again, you can work with this person. This could be your boss for all I know, okay? Emperor is boss energy. But there's competition here, okay? This is like this past person that you, you know, have a lot of love for and they have a lot of love for you. And maybe, you know, it was just right person, wrong time. Y'all couldn't get it right. Or y'all, the, the foundation in which y'all built something on came crumbling down. Okay? You could have blocked this person. It's like you really got this, this past person feeling left out. Like you meant what you said and you said what you meant. You meant what you said. Okay? But there is a new love that has their eye on you. And with it's like you don't know what's going to happen now that you walked away from this past person. It's like, mm, I don't know. Maybe this this uh, emperor, you know, approached you. Right after the brinks of you kind of washing things up with this past person as to why you were in two frames of mind. You had a crossroad because you got the blindfold on. It's like, I don't I don't know what's going to come from whatever decision that I make, but I know I have to make one. Okay, but you know, based off of whatever decision that you make, there's going to be some type of jealousy or there's going to be some type of competition because somebody wants to win at all costs. And it's this emperor that has that energy. Okay, they looking at you like, you know, you're a very mature person. You're, you, you're very well put together. You know what I'm saying? You know how to communicate, you know, queen of cups. You're emotionally balanced. You're very caring. And they know that that's the type of person that they wouldn't mind putting up a fight for. It's like this emperor got that type of <laughs> energy of like, 
this is me. And I'm going to put in the work to try and get what I feel like is for me. Okay? Now, what I'm also getting is like... Oh, we. This is a, a, a pretty crazy situation. If this, if you have kids with this past person, or like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know if y'all all work together. I don't know. But it's like, if they see you with this boss, it's going to create like, I mean, you know, I feel like somebody is looking into like, what's going on with these two, okay? Three of Pentacles speaks of collaboration, coming together, contracts, things like that. like somebody's wondering um hmm. and it's the thing though because with the four wands you have the opportunity of a a more balanced foundation when it comes to this emperor and this is what you are deemed of getting after you experience that heartbreak with that past person okay it's like spirit is trying to move you from that rough situation that you went through mentally physically, emotionally, whatever the case may be, to somewhere more peaceful. Somebody who you know you can bring around the friends and the family and celebrate together and have good times with. This is like somebody who, who wants to step up to the plate to be your person because you exude this mature woman energy. You know, it's kind of like... Uh, it's, 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 it's that... It's that vibe of like somebody fumbling you, but then somebody else coming in and really appreciating you. Okay? So I want to know how you feel, Miss Queen of Cups, Miss Mamas. How you feel, Buki? <laughs> how you feel? Okay? Because I see that you're looking at things with the Seven of Pentacles. You know, you're looking at things of at, at a sense of like, okay... I've invested in a few things in the past that led me back to the drawing board. So let me make sure whatever it is that I'm looking for to invest in aligns with where I'm currently at. Okay. Because I feel like you got a lot of love to give. But it's only meant for somebody who is going to value it. And this emperor here with the five of swords, honey, listen, they serious. The emperor is serious. And they don't mind putting up a fight in order to uh, get the person that they want. Or that they see that they can collapse, that they that they uh, mesh well with. Okay, how do you feel, Queen of Cups? King of Wands. <laughs> Somebody got your eye. <laughs> Whoever this person is, they fine as hell, okay? The death card. All right. For some of you, this can be this past person that you, um, that you completely ended things with, all right? But also, too, whoever this other person is that you're attracted to, I feel like they help you transform in some way, shape, or form here. They kind of have a way of of um, having you forget what may have what you may have went through in the past. It's like they bring a whole different vibe to to you in this in this current moment. Okay, the hierophant. Yeah, this could be a really spiritual connection that you have with this person. It's like Page of Cups. They're very interested in you. And they're going to start off a little small, you know what I'm saying? This type of person, if y'all work together, oh, my Starbucks, you want me, you know, this type of person that bring you coffee or bring you tea or bring you lunch. Okay, little gestures to let you know, like, yo, I'm feeling you. <laughs> All right. Hold on, Tootie. Tootie, may I have a Yes, you can. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, my niece is here. <laughs> That's my baby. I missed her while I was out, out of town. Thugging with my rounds. Okay, so. <laughs> this person, I feel like um, after you went through that past situation that had transformed you, that had made you, um, you know, 
think wiser and make wiser decisions when it comes to companionships here. Um, it's like you're very connected to spirit, okay? You're very connected to spirit. You've learned many spiritual lessons. Who is this? Uh, who is this King of Wands? Okay, three of cups. Yeah, this. I mean, this is somebody. It's like y'all. <laughs> the hangman. I'm getting that like, okay, if this is a boss or this is just somebody who just got this boss type of energy, okay? This is a friend. You're attracted to them, okay? You guys go out, y'all hang out, y'all go get drinks, y'all go get food or something. It's like this person with the hangman, it's like this friend has the tendency of 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 of, of just allowing you to like let go and, and be free and like uh and just be more lighthearted, you know? Like six of pentacles, the the exchange that you guys have is mutual here. But when you go and you chill with this person and y'all hang out and y'all go wherever y'all be going, okay, they help you get your mind off of things, queen of pentacles. And it got you thinking like, hmm, <laughs> you know, I wonder how it would be if I was in a relationship with this person. Okay, Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is committed. All right, Ace of Wands is like this person came out of nowhere and brought all this passion. And that's why they're the king. Of, ooh, they're the king of wands. Child, listen. Do your thing. Hey, well, do it. Wobble to the floor. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, whoever this uh whoever this King of Wands is, they're a great package, alright? <laughs> uh alright, yeah, look at that. Six of Pentacles. Because like whatever you whatever you put into the situation, this person matches it, okay? Look at that. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Spirit aligned you with this person for a reason. Yes, it's going to be this this past person is going to be salty if they find out that you are. Because I mean, listen, somebody's trying to figure out something over here with the with the three of pentacles. They're trying to figure out something. I don't know. Maybe this past person is popping up at your job. Um be because they're feeling rejected by you. Something is going to, it's like the tower is like something. Because you rejected this past person, like something is going to shock you to the point to where it's like you're really going to have to put boundaries up with this, with them. No matter how much you, you know, may love them, it's the, I'm hearing it's like, it's the, it's the principle of something here. As to why you left them out. Like I said, this person could have not been supporting you. Or anything like that. It's like you can break up with somebody and still love them. And I feel like this is what it is here. Okay, look at that. Five. Five of Wands. It's gonna be conflict. What is this? What's what's this five of wands about? But they're searching. As a matter of fact, no, what's this three of pentacles? If the hermit come out on the screen, because that's crazy. They really trying to do some research. Look at that. Eight of Pentacles. They putting in some work somewhere. It's a lot to do with occupation. So I don't know. Let me know if this is with somebody that you work with. Or if this is a boss or something. King of Swords. They're trying to gain some type of knowledge with who is collaborating with who. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, this person you was once in a long-term relationship with. Also, too, I feel like they want to know who are you in a relationship with. Six of Swords. And look at that. Lurking energy again. Like, here you are minding your business with someone else and 
you got a looky loo over here trying to figure out what's going on. They must have seen you talking to this emperor. <laughs> okay? Because it got them in their head, King of Swords. They're trying they're they're using logic here. And when you use logic, it's because you see facts, right? What are the facts? What makes sense? And this is why they want to come in and bring peace to the situation because they seen you outside talking to somebody, okay? It's like, yeah, the chapter may be closed, but prepare, be prepared for this person to come in with the chariot, okay? Ace of Swords, yeah? That's going to be your clear signifier that this is your story. You know what I'm saying? If this person uh, mentions that he's seen you talking to someone or something in the workplace, it's something, Okay? But it got this person feeling sick to their stomach, this past person, at the fact that, um, I mean, because, yeah, look at you, nine of pentacles. You single, ready to mingle, okay? This is that energy of, I want you, I don't need you. As to why you walked away in confidence. you like, listen, I look good, I smell good, I'm about my bread, I got my businesses going, I'm working. What I got to stay around for for somebody who is going to treat me like I ain't here? Okay? Or it's going to hold things from me. What I got to be here for? Okay? Because, yeah, Six of Cups, they going to reconcile because they don't want to let you go. Okay? But you are going to get past this situation because you have a decision to make between two people here. Okay? So... I'm going to tell you now, this emperor is not going to let you go that easily. Because just as much as you show up as a queen of pentacles, I feel like they see that with you as well. Okay? They just bring a more lighthearted energy to whatever it is in the past that you've experienced. Like I said, like, if you was constantly trying to make something work with that past person and they were affecting you mentally, you know, like, your body is going to tell you when you should not be there. So pay attention to how your body feel when this past person come. If you're somebody who has anxiety like me, you know, your heart gets a beating or, you know, all these, uh, you know, your, your mind just goes. Versus whoever this emperor is, I feel like they bring you a sense of peace. Like they, um, they, they allow you to like let your hair down. You know, I feel like with that three of cups, it's a lot of laughs. It's a lot of joking. And... With that three of cups followed by the hangman, like I said, they the vibe that they give you, it's 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 that vibe of just um, surrendering, you know, like not allowing the past to put you in some sort of a funk here. Okay, all right, let's get some of these. But I, whoever that emperor is, I'm telling you. They, they serious about you. Okay. Stalking and lurking. Listen. <laughs> I can't make that shit up. I'm telling you. That past person. And look. Listen. It's something about some bushes here. Okay. <laughs> Where's that damn ten of pentacles? I'm about to show y'all again. Because, bruh, the way that this person, here it is, the way that this person is peeking in the bushes, child, they giving me, it's giving you from Netflix, okay? It's giving Joe. <laughs> it's giving Joe. Maybe his name is Joe. <laughs> it's very much so giving Joe, okay? stalker and lurking vibes it's like this person just wants to know what you're up to at the fact that because you um walked away from them okay divine timing we have casual counterparts commitment issues okay and then we have insomnia and sleepless nights all right and i feel like this is all what's going on with this past person honestly and it's only a matter of time until um, they resurface again, right? This person, now that you're not in their energy, 
you know, they're having casual counterparts. These are not really people that they're going to commit to. And at the same time, they can't sleep at night because you are the one that's on their mind. Okay, they you can't get off of their mind because they steady start stalking and lurking and peering into what you got going on. So no matter who else that they come across that they have these surface level connections with, okay, none is going to compare to what they had with you. Okay. Disoriented disoriented. Okay. They're all discombobulated and all over the place because it's like, damn, you know, maybe this person never thought that you was going to up and leave. Selfish desires, okay? Even though that this, even though you guys both came up as a counterpart, king and queen of cups, you know, maybe this person only showed you love when it was only for a benefit of them. You know, when they wanted you to do something, when it, when they wanted a piece of you or whatever the case may be, they was all nice and this and that. Okay? But when it came down to supporting you in other aspects, they had you in that five of pentacles. They had you feeling left out. So it's like, what good is it if, you know, the only time we're good or we show love is during a sexual connection and then outside of that, I don't really have much support from you, Okay? Run away and avoid it. When it comes to everything else, you want to run away from it. Not you, but your past person. Right? You want to avoid being... This person wanted to avoid being there for, for you. Maybe when it came to your job, when it came to work. Or whatever it is that you do. Okay? Stuck. All tied up. And I feel like that's what you got to the point of feeling like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, listen, like... I don't want to feel stuck in this situation. Yeah, we've been together for a long time, but it's like enough is enough. You know, you deserve exactly what it is or how it is that you feel like you should be treated. You know, in time, you can't you usually sometimes you can't go based off of how long you know some person is. It's really facts over feelings. Like, how is this person treating you now? OK, no more drama. And that's how you feel now that you've walked away from this person, okay? You don't have to stress. You don't have to go back and forth. You don't want, You don't have to have conflict. Oh, why are you not doing this? Why are you not supporting me? With doing, you know, yeah, you don't got to deal with that no more. Because like I said, whoever this emperor, this new person is, okay, they make you feel free. All right, can we talk? I'm hearing that song, can we talk? For a minute, girl, I want to know your name. For some of y'all, y'all had a boss hit on you. <laughs> okay? I want to, I can't get enough of you. Okay? I don't know. You know, some, some of y'all, some of y'all had caught the attention of a boss here. Maybe this person with can we talk, maybe this person called you into their office. You probably thought your ass was in trouble or some shit. <laughs> like, damn, what the hell I do? And this person is just like, listen, like, I just want to get to know you. Caught you for a loop, honey. <laughs> All right. It says you are wasting your time. Okay. Hmm. Now, if this boss or whoever this person is, they could be a friend because Three of Cups speaks of friendships, um, you know, coming together and things like that, too. Right. So. And like I said, that emperor was in the five of swords energy, winning at all costs. So, Pete, you are wasting your time. This emperor is like, listen, whoever else that you're dealing with, are you going back and forth with or whoever got you feeling the way that you are feeling? Okay, it's like your vibe is totally different. With bad health and occupation coming out here, it's like, I don't know, maybe this boss or this person, right? If it isn't a boss. Notice how your energy is when you are at work versus, you know, when you're probably not there or uh, based off of the conversation that you guys have. You know, this is like somebody that's not that can't believe that you're going through something 
in the in the way that you're going through it with someone else because it's like to them they can't get enough of you right it's like damn like you you mad cool you know like i would have never thought that you was probably going through all of that you know, maybe you reached out and you talked to this emperor that you're friends with and was like, hey, can we talk? I need to vent. Like, how would you feel if somebody did woo -woo -woo, whatever and they told you, like, listen, you wasting your time with that person. <laughs> okay. And that could have just started, you know, the brinks of y'all going out and having fun. And now that you walked away from them, I feel like a failure. Because like I said, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is loyal, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Okay? So being that you've been with this person for a long time, and yes, you tried to protect that tower moment from happening. But it had to happen eventually. It had to happen eventually. So don't feel like a failure for um preventing it from happening. Because the thing about tower moments, yeah, it's going to. It's going to come down because it wasn't built on the best foundation, but it leaves room for something else to grow, for something else to be built on, okay? Stop playing games. Listen, <laughs> forgive me. I feel left out the very same way. Damn, that shit crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, man. It's a problem when, 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 listen, what, what, what's the, <laughs> I can't even get it out. <laughs> it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when you do it. It's cool when you do it, but it's a problem when I do it. Okay, this person think you playing games. They're like, oh, no, you just tricked, man. You walked away. Listen, you could have this, this could have been an on and off situation that you have with this person. Okay? But that last time you put that eight of cups on the ass and you walked your fine ass out that door. Listen. Ain't no games being played, baby. It's not on two player no more. You playing with yourself. Alright? This person wants you to forgive them based off of what could have came out. Okay. Now things are moving too fast. All right. <laughs> With the way I feel like this emperor makes you feel so very lighthearted, you know, like you can talk to them about anything. Y'all have a good time. Y'all laughing, joking. Um, to you, it may feel like, and that's the thing. Like to you, you it may feel like, listen, yep. Thank you, Spirit, for, for confirming what I was about to say. It says, I want to move on, but I can't. Okay? That past person may still have a heart uh, a heartstring attached to you. Okay? And instead of sulking in that hurt and in that pain that you endured for quite some time, because bad health came out, it has affected you to the point to where uh, assistance... Was needed maybe you have friends or whoever that ha has been helping you or giving you advice up until this point to where you were just like you know what no this is affecting me too much to stay in it right when you made that decision to leave it's so crazy you never know when god gonna open up the door for something else to come in so to you you may be like okay listen this is moving too fast like maybe this emperor you know want to yeah, they they want to spend more time with you. You know, they want to spend more time with you. They're like, hey, it's this event going on or on Saturday. It's, this ain't even work hours, child. And they like, listen, <laughs> is this going on? I can get some tickets. Let's go here or whatever. It's like, because this person likes your energy. What does it say? I can't get enough of you. And I feel like they just, they... Based off of whatever conversation that you've had with this person, just opening up, they feel like they are the person. They are the person for the job here, in a good way. Because based off however long that they've known you, and however long that they probably know that you was going through this with your past person, they're like, listen. Now that the drama's out the way, you don't have no more drama. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, let's chill. Can we talk? Can we get to know each other? Can we, you know? And you could be telling this person too, like, listen, I want to move on from this person, but I can't. Like, I can't. I don't want to. Maybe you're you're telling the emperor, I don't want to, you know, move too fast or jump into something right after I just got it or something. But you can't deny the vibe that the emperor gives you. Because I see that this person really makes you have a good time. Like it, they they take your mind off of that past person. So my question to you is, why does that make you afraid? Why does that make you afraid? Because I see you made up your mind to walk away from that 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 King of Cups that that you have love for. But why does it make you afraid at the fact that there is someone else that can definitely fill their shoes to be everything that you've manifested? It was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. Listen, I'm afraid of what you'll think of me. It's fear here. It's fear, but I see you, you're still moving forward. I feel like you're still moving forward. Even though, yep, this is hard. Even though that shit is hard. Listen. But I'm going to tell you this, though. Because as I see, I can't wait forever at the bottom of the deck. When I tell you, the emperor, he's serious. The emperor done went through spiritual lessons. They done been through a couple of the, the situations that you've been through with the past people. Okay? But with becoming an emperor and becoming an empress, you have a better understanding. That's why you came up as wise women. Of making wiser decisions knowing how to not project what it is that you went through onto other people so maybe there's still healing that needs to take place here but that emperor because he knows his worth yes he is attractive but that is not the type of person that is going to wait forever that is the type of person that does not want any more no doesn't want drama in their life if they're going to connect with somebody it's going to be with somebody who has healed or did some type of work and has let go of the past so where it doesn't have any space or room to interfere with the love that the emperor, the empress is trying to give. So they recognize red flags. Okay? So if you really want that emperor, you got to clear up things with this past person. Okay? Or maintain a friendship. You know, maintain the friendship that you guys have. And just let them know, like, hey, you know, I'm not in that space right now. If you aren't, I'm not in that space right now to be open towards a relationship. But I would love to keep the friendship. You know? So, ooh. you got some decisions to make, my love. All right? But continue to push through. Continue to heal. Um, and like I said, it's, I just keep hearing it, it's only a matter of time. You know, to where you cut that cord or that heart string that that past person has on you. Um, because whatever it is that you guys went through, it causes a big shakeup. But stay ten toes down on whatever it is that you put into play when it comes to your standards. Or whatever the case may be. Okay? Because you got somebody, emperor energy, okay, that has their eye on you. And they serious, honey. <laughs> they serious. All right? So, I love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Put that bell on so you know when your girl is dropping the tea. If you guys want any personal readings, um, I am accepting some for tomorrow. So, I should have um, everything in the description box um, below once this video uploads. But, yes, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Put that bell on. Okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I love y'all, and I missed y'all so much. Y'all don't even understand. I went to Oakland and had a great time, all right? If you have been feeling overwhelmed at the workplace and it's affecting you mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever the case may be, book that flight, sis. Book that flight, bro. Go somewhere. Go drive. If you, got, if, if you don't have the funds, drive. Listen, just drive. 
to the next city over, find a cool little spot to eat at, something, get a drink, get a peace of mind. Okay, sometimes you, a new setting will help help you reset. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to read the comments. Oh, and also, too, before I log off, dang, sorry, y'all. I got a new phone, so y'all probably can hear me better. Okay, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Because I know some of y'all are like, um, it's a good read, but I can hardly hear you, sis. I'm sorry. And you know what? I thought about y'all when I was out in Oakland. And I was like, you know what? While I'm out here, let me upgrade my phone. <laughs> so me and Collector could be on one accord and they can get these messages. All right? So, ta-da. <laughs> I love y'all. I'll see y'all later on the next one. Peace.